Well, hello everybody. Welcome back with me. You know me, I'm Kevin, and today we're gonna make a clock. Well, <coughs> to make the clock, you're first just gonna need the the machine itself. Well, it's easy to find. Just Google clock machine like that, and you're you're gonna find this type of thing. And well, the, actually, this is the first time I'm gonna use some acrylic. Yeah, I wouldn't take the plant the the paper off. <coughs> also, there's a new type of wood that we're gonna use. Well, I don't know what's in English, but in Indonesia it's called sonokolin. Well, which means literally dark wood. And actually this thing is more dense and harder than the normal one. already got all the templates sticked here now what we're gonna do we're just gonna cut them all on the band saw oh and of course some will gonna need a bit of the scroll saw well as I said well this is my first time cutting the acrylic so well I don't know what might happen well I've actually already kind of did some test cut a bit here this one's with a band saw and the other one all the way on the end here is with the scroll saw. Well, it turns out the cut is also pretty smooth, works well on both. Well, yeah, probably we're just gonna start cutting now. Well, it's so now for if you wanna use the band saw, you gotta be really careful because this thing could just cut through this acrylic like paper. First line cut. Well, for this one, I on purposely just kind of like a, a bit away from the line because, well, I don't know what's up with my computer. Well, anyways, we're just gonna start cutting the others. So now, before they cut everything, the, the pieces, well, I'm just gonna need to take, take the paper off this thing. Also, well, I've already made it with the machine machine fit in here, both here and of course the acrylic itself, which still probably needs a bit of adjustment. Yep, probably somewhere over here, with the others on the sides, and we're gonna make the numbers too. But for now, well, let's just take all this off. So well now, <coughs> well, yeah, everything's off, nice and clean. Now we're gonna do well. Probably I'm just gonna do the easy thing first, which is to well, gluing this thing here. Yeah, let's just so well now. Well, we've already <coughs> we've got that thing glued, which is soon gonna be stuck here. But first, probably it's a good idea to. Do the others too first. These then. Well, so now we're just gonna start gluing the others. Well, it's a good idea just to start with the edges because you know where we're going to like precisely put it in. So, well, now we've already got the clock here. Well, for the, for the clock machine, I actually already like it this way the way kind of like fits in perfectly and well also in case like uh, something broken inside this thing so well you could just pop this thing off of course no. yeah we can just pop this thing on and replace it with a new one or if you kind of like want to replace the battery but uh, anyways let's just put this thing somewhere and get to the back get the 
numbers. Well, actually, I I <coughs> make it all like from one until twelve. But the tourists were only gonna use like the multiples of the three. So basically, like twelve, three, six, and nine. All the others, we're just gonna use like stripes. So well, pretty much some of these are useless. And for the color of this one, we're probably just gonna use the normal wood like this one. <coughs> Template stick in. Now we're gonna cut it. So the first number done, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm pretty sure the belt sender can handle that thing. So now, well, let's just cut the others first. So well now, well we already have the numbers all cut out here. And now we're, well actually when, I'm, when I put it here, I, I see that it's like just really thick like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna split it in two. Well, now we've got a duplicate. Well, we've got a duplicate of it. So uh, now, well, <clears throat> we've already we've got them all. Now we're just gonna have some fine touching of this thing into sanding it. Now, for this one, I prefer the size well to be like this, this much. The the thickness this much. Yeah, that's much enough. And I want the length of this thing just to be like matching with this. I'm probably gonna need this to mark. So, a very no. <coughs> These knives are really sharp, so make sure you don't touch the edge. This is much sharper than your kitchen knife. So, uh, let's just cut it. Yep, 
just a simple block of wood, uh, small enough like this. So now we're just going to divide it. So now, now we already have a perfect square like this. Now we're just going to cut it. Well, just taking one sample already. Now we already have this. And this should be looking perfect like over here. Well, just a kind of experimenting. Well, it would kind of look like this. Now I'm just gonna make the rest. Yeah. So now we already have everything cut out. The the, the, the numbers. Well, some of them and for the stick club, you know, now we're just gonna paint it. But first, we're just gonna paint it first. But before that, well, I don't want the blur to be colors on a blur over here. So what I'm gonna do is just well, cover it. So now, everything is ready to be painted. And now we're just gonna paint it. So now, we're already done <clears throat> with everything, the painting, the, each of the pieces, the numbers too, and now, we're just <clears throat> going to have to do one thing, stick them all here. So now, well first, we're going to need to take the tape off first. Yep, then, now, we're just going to have to stick them. Yep, so now, We've already got everything here, and well, all you need is just uh, the glue. Now, well, the machine is just I'm gonna like stay put in here, and all I did was just pretty much put it in the back. So first, I think it's a good idea if we just wanna take it off first. So now, let's start sticking. Well, first, I'm <clears throat> probably, of course, you might wanna start with easy ones, the numbers, and well, the others. Like the one, two, five, four, and yeah, etc. Yeah, just good there. Yep. So well, just like that, we're just gonna stick it like, yeah, like that. We already have the number twelve. Now we're just gonna <coughs> continue with the rest. Now everything is yeah done. We already have all the numbers sticked in. Well, it was kind of hard, but <coughs> for the for the numbers, well, it's easy, but for the stripes, well, it's pretty hard because, well, you're gonna need to estimate it and, <clears throat> well, we're just now gonna have to do the last step. The way to hang it up on your wall, well, I already have this one piece, which is gonna be sticked in back here. So now, let's just grab the glue and start doing it. Yep, that's it. We're done with the clock, now we're just going to leave it to dry and you can already <coughs> hang it on. So now, the clock is already done. I have it already here. <coughs> already nice. The, the machine is already running. Well, now we're just going to do one thing. I'm just going to replace my old clock with this one. Take the previous one off. Stays right there perfectly and it's not falling down and I like one. Well, I'm just gonna wonder what I'm gonna have to do with the old clock. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Good luck making your own clock like this one or whatever you want to do with yours. And don't forget to subscribe.